Oh, I've done this so many times. This is from Stephanie Groves in Maryland. What is the proper way to blanch food before freezing for longer lasting? Oh, I've done this so many times, but uh, bring some a few inches, couple inches, like three inches of water to a, a boil, then bring it back a little so it stays at a gentle rolling boil. Salt the water after it boils so that the salt dissolves in the water. Then throw in your vegetable of choice for about 30 seconds. If it's in there a minute, don't have a heart attack. And take it out with a spider, one of these things, because it looks like a spider's web. Or with tongs, uh, if it's like asparagus, that would work too. Put it in a big bowl of ice water or your sink filled with cold water and some ice. And then take it out of that and chill it on, uh, chill it, bring it to room temperature on a kitchen towel. From there, you're gonna put it on a baking sheet, a bunch of different vegetables at a time if you like, throw it in the freezer. The reason you put it on a baking sheet is so that every vegetable, every piece of asparagus, every green bean, every floret of broccoli or cauliflower stays separate from one another, you know? So if you're, if you're grabbing portions from the freezer, it's loosey-goosey. And you can just reach in, once you put it in your freezer bags, and grab two pieces, 10 pieces, so it's easier to portion. That's why you do the extra step of putting it on the baking sheet before you put it into your freezer bags. Then you take out as much excess air as possible and throw it in the freezer. From your fans in, this is Lisa Folsom. From your fans in Colorado, we love you and love watching. Being on quarantine, does Isabu have any favorite recipes that you could share, especially for fur babies with sensitive tummies? Oh, Isabu has a sensitive tummy and she is an over 15 year old fur baby who's sound asleep right now. Um, I think she finds her show incredibly boring. She falls asleep every single episode. <laughs> anyway, Isabu's on a restricted diet, but let me just say this. Nutrish, the brand that uh, I created, that we created for Isabu, we made it so that we could put out the highest quality product for every diet of every animal that we would feed. We started with dogs, then we added cats, of course. But because of that product line, we've been able to support over 36 million or something and counting. Yeah. And our friends at Nutrist have just generously donated. We gave away $4 million to COVID-19 relief. They added a million dollars worth of food and 4 million meals for animals to that global uh, uh, domestic uh, donation, I should say. So we do make food for animals that are very sensitive. We have many, many different diet plans for everything we could think of. But what we make her every day is couscous so it's soft on her palate and she won't choke on it. And then separately, I poach very lean meat. I trim it myself, chicken, lamb, or beef. I poach it in bone broth or water with carrot tops, parsley, and a bit of mint, and low sodium, here's Isabu salt, low sodium light salt. I sprinkle that over the top and I cook it very low and slow with just a gentle bubble. I let it cool in its own broth, and then I finely chop it, mix it all back in, and I add a grated carrot for every pound of protein. I put grated carrot with the carrot tops, with the parsley, and a little bit of mint if I have it in the house. Put that all together, cook that, and then I combine the two, but I keep them separately in the fridge so the couscous doesn't get too wet. I combine the two and put the cooking liquid from the protein, a little of that over the top and heat it in the microwave. Just gently.